So in our second example on systems of nonlinear equations using the fixed point iteration method, let's take our second example. So in this example, starting with an initial guess of x0 equals y0 equals 1.0, we are going to find the approximate root to the system of nonlinear equations given 2x squared plus y squared minus 4.32 equals 0 and x squared minus y squared equals 0 by performing 5 iterations. So let's solve this together. So first of all, we have two root finding problems, this and then that. We need to transform these two root finding problems into fixed point problems. Again, we are giving the initial guess x0 equals y0 equals 1. 0, which means that we have x0 equals 1.0, we have y0 also equals 1.0. Now also notice that in this example we are not given any possible arrangement. So it means that we are going to find the possible arrangement ourselves. If I say possible arrangement, then I mean we are not given j of xy. So we need to find j of xy ourselves. And then because we want faster convergence, we are going to use the Gossado iteration method. So for the first root finding problem, we have 2x squared plus y squared minus 4.32 equals 0. Now here we want to make x the subject. So we transpose y squared and the negative 4.32 to the right hand side. So we have 2x squared equals this is negative it becomes positive so 4.32 this is positive it becomes negative so minus y squared now we divide through by 2 and then we have x squared that is equal to now 4.32 divided by 2 that gives 2.16 minus here we are going to have 1 over 2 times y squared 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 so we want to make x the subject we take the square root of both sides of the equation square cancel square root we have x to be equal to the square root of 2.16 minus 0.5 y square now let's call this equation one now moving on to the second root finding problem we have x square minus y square equals zero so we want to make y the subject so we transpose negative y square to the right hand side so we are going to have x square equals y square now we take the square root of both sides and therefore we have y to be equal to the square root of x squared. Notice that in all cases, we are interested in finding the positive square roots of um, whatever values that we have. Okay, so here we have x equals the positive square root of this, and then y is also equal to the positive square root of this. Okay, so we are basically interested in the positive square roots. Now, at the end, we can have let me write that here we can have j of xy that is equal to xy and that is equal to for x we have square root of 2.16 minus 0.5 y square that is for x for y we have square root of x square so this is um, in a possible arrangement we have arrived at okay so based on this we are going to do the iterations to find the approximate roots to the system of nonlinear equations given here so let's say for the first iteration we are supposed to perform five iterations so for the first iteration We have x not y not to be equal to 
that is 1.0 okay so for x we have let's say x1 that is x1 so x1 is equal to we have this square root so the square root of 2.16 minus 0 0.5 times y square so the most current value of y that we have here is 1.0 so that is 1.0 square now when you compute this you are going to have 1.288 four one 1.28841 so this is the first value of x so that is x1 now we move on to y1 y1 is nothing but the square root of what x square now because we are doing gossado iteration we are going to substitute the value for the most current value of x okay the most current or updated value of x is x1 which is this value we just found so that is basically going to be the square root of 1.28841 square don't forget the square here so square cancel square roots and then we still have 1.28841 so that becomes the value for y1 okay so let's move on to the second iteration so for the second iteration we want to find the value of x2 x2 is equal to the square root of 2.16 minus 0 0.5 y squared the most updated value for y is y1 so that is 1.28841 square when you compute this you have 1.15326 1.15326 this is the value of x2 let's move on to y2 y2 is equal to the square root of x square most updated value of x is x2 so we are going to put in this value we have 1.15326 square this is equal to 1.15326 okay so you realize that the, the y values are following a particular trend if x is equal to a it means that y is going to be equal to a and that is basically going to run through so let's move on to the third iteration the third iteration we have x3 that will be equal to square root of 2.16 minus 0 0.5 times most updated value most updated value of y okay most updated value of y that is y2 so 1.15326 okay square when you compute this you are going to have 1.22275 okay 1.22270 and then y3 is basically going to be the square root of 1.22270 square square cancel square root you still have the same value so that is 1.22270 okay let's move on to third sorry the fourth iteration so fourth iteration We have x4 that is equal to square root of 2.16 minus 0 0.5 times most updated value of y that is 1.22270 square and then you are going to have 
um, x4 x4 to be equal to 1.18849 okay so this is the value of x4 and then we know that similarly y4 is going to be the same value we don't worry ourselves too much then we move on to the fifth iteration fifth iteration we have x5 x5 that is basically going to be square root of 2.16 minus 0 0.5 times updated value for y 1.18849 square now this is going to be 1.20571 and then as we know y5 is going to be the same value 1.20571 so after five iterations the approximated roots or the approximate root of the system of nonlinear equations corrected to six significant figures after using the Gossado iteration method, and that is we have x5, y5, and that is equal to 1.20571, and then 1.20571.